So for me, I think to, me, to be Jewish, it means a few things. Number one, when you think about the word Jew, right, where does that come from? It comes from Judah, right? The, the one of the 12 tribes that uh, we know that most of the tribes were exiled, but those of us that are Jewish today, most of us come from the tribe of Judah. And what does Judah mean? Judah's from the Hebrew word, obviously in Hebrew it's Yehuda, which means toda, hoda, to give thanks. So first of all, what it means to be a Jew is that we appreciate. We appreciate everything in our lives, right? The Torah in, in Perki Avo says, who is a rich person? A person who is satisfied with what they have, who's happy with what they have. And ultimately realizing that our appreciation is that we're even created in the first place. What did we do to deserve to be created, right? Nothing. God gave us the gift of life because he loves us, because he wants us to have enjoyment, pleasure in this world. So to appreciate that, to appreciate all the gifts that we have, first and foremost, that we're, first and foremost, that we're alive, that we're part of the Jewish people, that's number one. Uh, for me, the second thing of being a Jew is that we have a message to give to the world. And ultimately that message for me is that we identify and look at ourselves as spiritual beings as opposed to physical beings. Right? The Torah says that every person, it's not just Jews, every person is created with a body and a soul. And so many of the decisions that we make in life and how we lead our lives is based on do we identify ourselves as a body or do I identify ourselves as a soul? One way that I heard someone say it once is that are we living in order to work or are we working in order to live? Right at our tombstone at the end of 120 years, is it gonna say, you know, Joe, you know, ate so many hamburgers and so many chickens, right? Or is it gonna say, Joe changed the world. He impacted people. He made the world a better place. And ultimately that's, are we identifying ourselves with our soul, which strives for wisdom, which strives for greatness, which strives to make the world a better place, which strives for real meaning and wisdom? Or are we identifying with our body, which basically, is like, you know, I have a two-year-old, a two-year-old tantrum saying, I want this, I want it now, and it's just for me. And that's really, when you look at all the issues in the world, the Jewish people have brought this idea to the world. We're souls and we're not bodies. Now, all these things an individual as a Jew can represent, but for me, being a Jew, the third thing is that we're part of the Jewish people. And that it's not just as an individual we can identify and be appreciative with our soul and be appreciative but really that we're part of a people that represents this. And we're part of a people, the Jewish people, who represents these ideas, who has a mission in the world to bring these values and these morals into the world, to make the world a better place. And that we're part of a family, which means that we're responsible for each other. And so when there's a Jew anywhere else in the world who's in trouble, whether it's Israel as a country, as a state that's in trouble, if it's being attacked, I'm there to do something about it. Because that's my brother, that's my sister, that's my child. That's someone that I'm, I'm not going to push off. I'm not just going to read a headline and turn the page to the sports scores. But I'm going to say, that's my brother, that's my sister. And that's, I'm part of this family and I'm responsible to do something about it. So Hasbara Fellowships, we educate and train college students all over North America to stand up and promote and defend Israel and their college campuses. Unfortunately, on college campuses all across North America, there's a tremendous amount of anti-Israel propaganda, whether it's BDS, whether it's things, other things in the middle of campus. And for many Jewish and even non-Jewish students who support Israel, they want to stand up against it, or even when they see so many of their friends are just apathetic, they want to engage them and educate them, but they just don't necessarily know how. So what we do is we bring students to Israel on a 16-day program. It's really the most in-depth pro-Israel advocacy training program in Israel that's out there. And we inspire them, we educate them, we train them to go back to campus and stand up for the Jewish people. And that's really, you know, part, that, that is our mission, is to try to inspire the next generation about how great it is to be Jewish, how great it is to be part of the Jewish people, how amazing and proud we can be of Israel, and to stand up and take responsibility for it and to inspire and educate others about how great it is.